Happy birthday, Chris Gethard! One, two, three! Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. I am your host, Chris Gethard. I want to say hi to everybody watching on TV, on the Manhattan Neighborhood Network. I want to say hi to everybody watching online at thechrisgethardshow.com. And of course, to everybody who's not watching live through our, our archives and our, our podcast. Um, it's my birthday, and I just want to say there's no place I'd rather spend it than here. Thank you. And um, I don't want to dwell on that too much because there's business to be done, but I did just want to say that I, I am so thankful my birthday fell on a Wednesday this year because this show means so much to me and the fact that I get to hang out with so many cool people every Wednesday night, both in person and on the phones and some of my best friends, some of the most creative people in New York City, it means the world. And I, there's no place I'd rather be. And I'm so proud of what we built. And I'm so thankful that all of you are a part of it. As you may notice, I'm a little bit distracted today. We should just deal with that right away. So Random Dan, our old friend Random Dan, is here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And he has, in my eyes, unfortunately, decided to get an image of the one and only Banana Man tattooed onto his leg. That's currently happening. So Random Dan, why did you decide to do this? Just the show means that much, and it just seemed like a great idea to me. It does not seem like a great idea. <laughs> it seems like a really bad idea. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, it's all famous, <laughs> Hello, and uh, Sharky, yes? How you doing? So is this the first time you've tattooed on public access television? Yeah, this is big for me. <laughs> oh, really? It's not, it's not that big. <laughs> um, I hope you're having fun. I am. This is really cool, man. Now, have you ever done a tattoo where the person it's inspired by is sitting directly next to you? No, I'm not dressed in a banana suit. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I would agree. Now, Banana Man Sharky has just referred to you as ridiculous. Your image is being etched onto another human's body literally forever <laughs> how are you feeling about it wildly uncomfortable yeah <laughs> you and i are very uncomfortable with i this. think the most in the room is us yeah i'm not gonna be banana man forever i hope right <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be great that would be amazing but realistically speaking where are you going banana man <laughs> we'll see we're wherever life takes me what are you talking about i mean hopefully the show lasts forever but what show has lasted forever I don't know of any. This is the first I've thought of this. <laughs> uh, this is a, it's a hard birthday. <laughs> Random Dan, we're going to check in with you throughout the night, get the progress on your tattoo. Thank you for doing that. I guess. Welcome. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the LLC, the greatest house band in public access. <laughs> Mimi on the hoops. Manny. The man behind the plant, manning our internet console, as always, the mysterious man behind the plant. Thank you for being here. Random Melissa, how are you feeling? I'm good. Uh, you, are the, you remain the most random of all the randoms. Yeah. By, oh. by, this point, oh by this point in everyone else's tenure, we knew a lot more about them. You remain a mystery. Oh, man. What's that? I would have really fucked that tattoo yeah, up. Yeah, no, loud noises and fucked up shit. Random Melissa, how are you doing? Uh, I'm good. I, I do want to say this, like, random, like, mysteriousness. I, like, it, it's kind of cool, I guess, but I, I have no objection to, like, letting people get to know me, so <laughs> go ahead and tell. Make it happen! No! I'm not good at explaining myself. Okay, that's fair. Bethany Hall, how are you? I'm pretty good. I think I was supposed to fall in love today, and I messed it up. What's that mean? What happened to you, What does that guy? mean? I was at Starbucks just before the show, and this I always go to the same one, so people there call me Wednesday. And so I walked in, and they were like, Wednesday, and I was like, hey! And this guy was chuckling and thought I was cute. 
And then I was like, oh, I gotta get back to my podcast. And he like watched me leave. And I was like, that was, that was my chance. <laughs> I missed it. Which podcast? I was a soundtrack. The Scourge of Gimgul, <laughs> the Reservoir Dog himself, Murph, how are you? Doing all right, man, doing all right. All right, okay. thank you so much. Any updates on how you're doing? Any, uh, any news from the Society of Gimgul, or are they Just, laying low thus far? There have been a few people loosely affiliated with them who have thrown shit around, but they have no response, and I feel like they're just going to hide out and wait, wait it out, I think. Okay. They don't want to, they don't want to expose themselves. They don't, they don't want that at all. Our director, J.D. Amato, making a rare on-camera appearance. Is the tattoo. The sound of random dance tattoo overpowering all of our sound. Shannon O'Neill, my yes. buddy. So glad to be sitting next to you on my birthday. How yeah, are you? happy birthday. I'm great. We've known each other so many years now. So many. You knew me when I still was uh, drunk. And you would dye your hair a weirder shade of red. Yeah, I would dye my hair often, but only other shades of red. Yeah. You once saw me cry and vomit on 19th Street, completely drunk out of my mind. Yep. No one's seen that for over 10 years now. Let's make it happen tonight. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think anyone thinks that's a good idea at all. Ladies and gentlemen, the creature from the sea, he's just now discovering the world of men. The human fish is with us, as always. Human fish, human fish. What's he thinking? Human fish. So, human fish, what's on your mind right now? Birthday surprise. Wow, birthday surprise. Versus surprise assassination. <laughs> birthday surprise versus surprise assassination. Human fish, who wins? Birthday surprise. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. So, again, we'll see. We'll see. Right now, though, we need to urge everyone. On Sunday, I'm flying to Los Angeles. On Tuesday, I start walking east to Tennessee. We need your help. Email helpgethered at gmail.com. If you live anywhere in America, we'll take you up on your help. And if you want to call up tonight, talk to us about what you're willing to do for this Bonnaroo Gethard experience. The number is 212-757-1393. That's 212-757-1393. We want to talk to as many people as possible. Let's get our, where's intern Emma? Let's get you up here with the map as we go to our first He's got the car, he's got the telephone, he's got the cash, hundreds of miles from home, he's got a show. Way out of Tennessee, his mom is worried, please have mercy. If you don't save his life, will he just might die? And if you don't save his life, will he just might die? Hello, by the side of the road. Hey. Okay. A cute sound of song. So Emma, how are you? I'm good. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. So these stickers, let's turn it to camera represent the people who have gotten in touch with us so far, correct? Yeah. That's not quite all of them, but that's a lot no, of them, right? There's still like 40 or 50 left to put on. So I'm going to go ahead and note that the area marked Great Plains. Be careful, is a... Gethard. <laughs> Why? Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Nothing, no funny business. Just on the map. There is a wide swath right here. We need people from Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Western Texas. Desperately. If I'm going to die, if I'm going to die, it's in Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, or West Texas. So if you're in any of those areas, please get in touch tonight. Thank you, Emma. I'm sorry that got so uncomfortable so fast. I didn't mean to. I didn't think it was. Were you uncomfortable? Nope. Once again, uncomfortable? Yeah. No one was uncomfortable. They were only uncomfortable when you made it uncomfortable. Just like always. Nope. I saw them all squirming, being like Gethard, saying that I'm not going to go Anywhere near Emma's upper body, yeah. Yeah. I start freaking out, so I had to point it out. Sometimes you gotta be reminded. Uh, <laughs> be careful. Ladies, thank you. We have many callers. We also have. We're also psyched. Shell Shag is here tonight, and those motherfuckers got a standing ovation on their sound check. Yeah. So I can't wait for Shell Shag. In the meantime, let's get to some calls. Number one is listed only as surprise caller. Surprise caller, welcome to the show. Happy birthday, Christopher. Aww. It's my mom. <laughs> mom, I didn't even know you knew about this show. I have my ways. <laughs> you do. Now, is this why you didn't call me today? Exactly, and you had to ruin it. 
I had to ruin it. You went, I went all day thinking my own mother forgot my birthday. And I finally called you. I was like, what's the deal? Now, do you really think I would forget your birthday, Christopher? No, because I'm your baby boy. I'm your little baby boy. That's right. But, Mom, you're up so late. I know. I, I've been holding on. I have to go to bed. <laughs> now, who arranged this? How did you even get through on the phone lines? I just called up and told them who I was. Wow. Normally, it's very busy and you can't get through. I guess people aren't as into this show as usual. Now, Mom, what would you say the experience of giving birth to me 32 years ago was like? Physically, emotionally, however you choose to describe it. Well, Chris, it was a long time ago, you know. That's true. That's true. You're getting older. Yeah. But, no, it was a, a very joyful time. You did look, uh, look like Mr. Magoo, though, I told you that. <laughs> you did look like Mr. Magoo. I've heard that before. Yeah. Now, is it true that the gargantuan size of my head was problematic during the birthing process? <laughs> do we really have to... Why do you do that all the time? I guess that's fair. You don't have to talk about that, but we both know it's true. <laughs> we both know that's true. Yeah, we do. All right, Mom. Well, um, I don't know. That's really so nice that you called. That's the best surprise. Very good. Well, I hope you have a fun show. Thank you. Now, you, is it, have you ever, honestly, have you ever watched an episode of our show? No, I'm amazed at some of the people in your audience there. Oh, you're watching right now? Yeah, I can see you. Wow, you see all the people. Yeah. You see the guy getting tattooed right now. Yes, yes. And you see Banana Man. Banana I Man. know, I noticed him right away. <laughs> pretty funny, right? He's pretty funny. I guess. <laughs> mom, you're nailing it. What if, Mom, what if this whole show is just me and you talking for an hour? No, I'm going to bed now, Chris. Why? <laughs> you're not even going to finish watching? No, I'm not watching. I'm going to turn it off and go to bed. Who gave you the number? My brother? No, I have my secret ways. <laughs> It's that it's Sam and Rosemary Vetrano from Bloomfield. They watch and they tell you all the things I do, right? No, I can't reveal my sources. Oh, you always do this. I wouldn't tell your brother. He would have blown it. He would, but your brother, my brother wouldn't. He would have blown the surprise, probably. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Well, that's so nice, Mom. So glad to talk to you on the show. Okay. All right. A little piece of real life. Yes. That usually doesn't infect our weird little studio. Yes. Can I just say hi to Shannon? Hi, Shannon. Oh, yeah. Hi, Miss Gethard. Yeah. You've known Shannon a long time. Thank you for giving birth to Chris. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, thanks, Mom. It means a lot that you called. I love you. Okay, love you too. Okay, bye, Mom. Bye. Hey, look at this. Oh uh, Two more guys that I love. If they ain't my old pals, Michael Caine and the one and only Don Finelli. What's up, y'all? Hey, everybody. So, um, I wrote a song about uh, 10 minutes ago. Uh -huh. With Don Finelli. Yep. Uh, oh yeah. For, I got you some socks. Thank man. you. He got that, you some that's socks. Very nice of you. Thank you. And a USA hat. Thank you, Don. You uh, now, the Don, song. You're wearing your mask from the cardboard robot fight. Yeah, back. man. <laughs> Never got an email, bro. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, here's this song that I wrote. Yeah. With Don. Don wrote it too. Yeah. Good with, job. With the tattoo artist in the background. Here we go. <laughs> There's a legend that's sad but true Told in summer and in winter's cold About a man who stands five foot two Who's been balding since four years old His hairline is craggy as the cliffs of more His fashion is clumsy as an unskilled lover His muscles are flimsy as an old screen door He's like Carrot Top's less attractive brother His finger is smaller than a baby's dream His balls are so small they look like one ball His pubes are thicker than his penis Smurfs see his dick and think, man, that's small Oh, get hard, what's your deal? Body of putty, name of steel Hey, get hard, this is for you Happy 30, 30, 32 The 
status imp from here to China. Never felt the warmth of a human vagina. Why'd I say human? Should we discuss? He once finger fucked a duck bill platypus. There's a matter of his tiny penis. Must those words even be said? Anyone who's seen his penis wonders if it's just a penis head. If you met a genie and had one wish, and asked him to give you the tiniest penis. He'd say, I can't do this. I've already given it to get hard, Chris. Oh, get hard, what's your deal? Body of putty, name of steel. Oh, get hard, this is for you. Happy 30, 30, 32. He's a sad little clown who swam in the big lake, but then he drowned. Oh. The big time oh. He's on MNN with a sound delay. The baron of beggars who can't be choosers. He's the Malcolm X of losers. <laughs> if Malcolm X had done no deeds and had the dick the size of a sesame seed. <laughs> oh, get hard, what's, what's your deal? deal? Body of honey, name of steel. Oh, get hard, this is for you. Happy 30, 30, 30. Happy birthday, man. I really, um, really hated that song. Yeah. Good, man. But cool. you always remember it now. You know? Thanks, Don. You got it, bro. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Happy birthday, man. A lot of that is not true. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you got it. Man. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. <laughs> I got socks. I got your socks, man. <laughs> you know, for when you're walking, I got Yeah. <laughs> you're still doing bits. I'm genuinely sad. <laughs> so, genuinely sad about that song. Our old friend Stellan from Sweden is on the phone. Hi, everyone. Stellan, how are you? Hello, Chris. What happy birthday, or happy belated birthday. Oh, because you're in the future. Yeah, your birthday, birthday ended like six, uh, five hours ago. Okay, well, I still got a few minutes here. Um, how's it going, man? Yeah. Yeah, it's... it's Awesome. The sun is coming up and uh, it's looking like a beautiful day. I'm sorry I can't uh, help you with the Bonner thing, but would you, would you like me to sing a Swedish birthday song? I think everybody would love that. I think everybody would love that. Mention his sesame Okay, now Stellan, here's my question. When are you going to come to America and be on the show? Well, uh, it's fucking expensive, so I'm on, I'm on a student income, so uh, when uh, I get a job, maybe? Okay, so we'll see you in a couple of years. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, we'll see you in, in like three years or something. Sounds good. Well, it's an open invite. If this show still exists in three years, um, come hang out, say hi. We want to meet you in person. Yeah, that would be awesome. Okay, you always have such great calls. You're a great friend of the show. We really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. And uh, happy birthday. All right, thank you so much. Everybody loves you, Stalin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to welcome our guests tonight. As I mentioned, they're sound check. Banana Man, right? Excellent. Excellent. So good. Excellent. They are, uh, I want everybody up on their feet. I want everybody dancing. They're, they're playing the Cake Shop on June 6th, I believe? Yeah. Cake Shop, June 6th. You can find more info about them at StarCleaner.com. Now, everybody on your feet, let's everyone dance as we welcome Shell Shack! <laughs>
Shell Shag, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have more from Shell Shag later on. Banana Man, what's the verdict? Delightful, fantastic. Here's the thing about Shell Shag. First of all, they're all it's an awesome sound. Dance to it, makes you feel. Second of all, two people, only two people, so much sound. And even if none of that happened, clear guitar and light up tower amp. Jesus, man, that's fucking cool. Cool as shit. All right, let's get through some calls because we need Bonnaroo Gethard help. 212. 757 one, three. Oh, I guess not. Presidential candidate Connor Ratliff is here tonight. Welcome, Connor. Happy birthday, Chris. Thank you, Connor. I just want to say you have been so supportive of me and my campaign <laughs> that, that I, I wanted to get you a really uh, meaningful birthday gift. Oh, thank you. Uh, now, as you may know, I'm 36 years old. That's old enough to be president. You were 32. That is not no. old enough to be president. No. Yeah. Four years from now is a different story, however. In 2016, you will be old enough to run for president. That's true. And so tonight, as my birthday gift to you, I am announcing that I will only serve for one term as president of the United States. I will not run for re-election so that you, Chris Gethard, may be the next president. It's Gethard. Yeah. So Gethard. You said Gethard. That's going to happen a lot on the campaign trail. Yeah, that's fair. There's a heightened that's speech fair. that you use when you're running for president. Yeah. The oratory has to be uh, somewhat more. Uh, let's bring the cake out. Thank you, Connor. That's so nice of you. Awesome. I'm glad I get to be uh, president. Uh, the cake did melt a little. I was, I was assured. Oh, that's unnecessary. Uh, we need to get out of here. This is going to cost a thousand dollars. That is a copyrighted song. That is a copyrighted song. It's a copyrighted song. Um, Just shut this down. <laughs> uh, the cake has melted slightly. I was assured it would not, but it, it did. But uh, okay. uh, that, that's, that's it. That's the end of. Well, Connor, end of I'd love to distribute this cake to my crowd, aka the American public, if that's okay with you. That's a great. That's a great first move. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's start passing that around. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Connor Radliff, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Now let's get through a bunch of calls. Two one two seven five seven one three nine three. Rachel from Portland, welcome to the show. Hey, Chris. How's it going? It's going great. I'm calling from the Flesh Mines of Portland, Oregon. The Flesh Mines, yes, yes, yes. As the keeper of the We've Dallas harvested Oregon. a lot of titties this week. Good. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear that's begun. Yeah. All right. So, Rachel, uh, thank you for calling. What's up? I, well, I wanted to know, first of all, well, first of all, I wanted to tell your mom happy day of birth. Okay, I'll pass that along to her. She's gone to bed now. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Um, and then also, I want to know if we're on the map. On the map. I don't think that Portland, Oregon is yet on the map. Well, it should be because we're trying to get a hold of you. Well, Rachel, what are you going to do about it? you got email help, Gethard at gmail.com. Oh, my God. Tonight. We've done that so many times. We Twittered, we Twittered at you. It's, oh, if you emailed uh, it, then... We've emailed you. You emailed help, Gethard? Yeah, zero left. And yeah, I, then you're on the map. Then you're on the map. Yeah. Then you're good. And Everyone is emailed. The All I need to know is what your size is. My size is? A size of what? Yeah, your size. I think. I think <laughs> <laughs> what? Murph said Sesame Steve. I didn't like that song at all. <laughs> size, what size are we talking here? Um, well, we're talking about like your shirt, your socks, Medium. your underwear. Medium. <laughs> Medium? Yeah, my shirt is medium. Your shirt's medium. Medium. What about your socks and underwear? I'm a 32-30 in the pants. Size 12 shoes. Semi-seed semi inseam. No, no, no. no. Semi-seed. I, like, I don't like that song. Those are two very good friends of mine, and I think they even, they, I have a feeling they will say they took it a bit too far. <laughs> okay, well, well, okay, that's good to know. And also, can my boyfriend ask a human fish a question? Yeah, of course. What's your boyfriend's okay. name? Okay, here it is. Four. All right, human fish. Egg style fish birth versus womb style human birth. Oh, egg style fish birth versus womb style human birth. May define if he's more man or more fish. Amazing timing on the tattoo. Egg style fish birth. Egg style fish birth. He was hatched in the sea via. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel's boyfriend, you sounded too into that. Yeah. Weird fetish. I like your fishing. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, man. All right. Um, well, listen, I'll see you if I make it out to Portland. I hope we get to meet up during Bonnaroo Gethard. Yes. At, at the least, we want to send you our care package and happy birthday. Thank you so much. That's very nice of you. Okay. All right. Later. See ya. Drunk Jackie P. Long time no see. It's been a while. It's been a while. Hey, Chris. What's up, Jackie? Happy birthday. Thank you. Can I, can I start with a shout down? You want to start with a shout down? I don't yeah. know, Jackie. Don't take it too far. No, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Hi, not aware on the phone. What is that? Who doesn't know how to use the phone? I know how to use the phone. I'm on it right now. <laughs> I don't know who that was directed towards. It was towards Patrick. Oh, Patrick? Oh, oh Patrick who answered his phone. Hey, Patrick's a hard-working guy. Yeah, Patrick okay. doesn't just talk the talk. He walks listen, the walk. Don't die, Chris, because you're showing a bunch of me, and it means a bunch of people. When I met you, I had just gotten out of jail. You yes. changed my life. Okay, well, I'm glad we helped you in that tough time. Good. It's, you know what? I see you at cheesecake because that's the kind of cake they have. So be on the lookout for a cheesecake. <laughs> a cheesecake? What did, what did you say to me? I said... <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to get a sense of what you said. Oh, I said... Oh, you, oh, you sent us a cheesecake, and here it is. Oh, Jackie, that's so nice. That's a good-looking cheesecake. Wow. That's a good-looking cheesecake. not melting like that. All right, let's get some utensils. Murph, you want to dig into that? You yeah, Murph. Yeah, you, oh, yeah, you put your mouth on it. Whoa. Whoa. Jackie wants you to put your mouth right Jackie. on it, Murph. I don't know what you're saying. It's going lay on my TV because Patrick broke the phone. All right, Jackie, thank you for the call. Anything else you want to talk about? Because I see some other calls from the Bonnaroo Get no, the Hot Zone. No, I wouldn't even with your calls. Happy birthday. Be safe. You know, I respect the show. All right, you're the best, Jackie. Thank you. You're good. Jonathan from Westchester, welcome to the show. Hi, uh, this is Jonathan. Yeah, I'm Jonathan, what's up, man? What's that? Oh, Jonathan. This is my yeah. This guy comes and says hi at UCB every Friday. What's up, dude? How are you? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, happy birthday. Hey, thanks, Jonathan. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. Jonathan, it, it strikes me that you might be a little bit nervous. I am extremely nervous. Don't be nervous, man. We're good. We're good. Um. All right. So I can't help out with my together because I'm not on group. Yeah. I would love to, but um, uh, right now I have a question for the human fish. Yes, a question for the human fish. What is it? All right, so 31-year-old Chris Gethard or 32-year-old Chris oh, Gethard? Oh, 31-year-old Chris Gethard versus 32-year-old Chris Gethard. Who wins? 32-year-old okay. Chris Gethard. Okay, thanks, human fish. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Fish. Oh, your warm, tender touch. I like that. Jonathan, <laughs> what just happened? I dropped cheesecake right on the Now Jackie side. really wants me to put my mouth on. Yes. <laughs> All right, Jackie's cheesecake causing trouble. Jonathan, thank you for the call. Well, if it isn't my old pals, Ruby and Alyssa, ladies and gentlemen. Our, our, our children oh, are here. Thank you so much. Our, our two favorite... Children non are here. Yes, our two favorite non-adult members of, of the show world. How are you, ladies? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm doing pretty well. So what brings you here? Um, well, happy birthday. I got you two cupcakes, one for tomorrow when you're like tired. Oh thanks. It's a coffee cake. Alright. So it wakes you up. Okay. Aww. Um and then one for tonight, because it's your birthday. Thanks. I won't eat the coffee cake tonight or else I'll stay up too late. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we made you a video. Really? It's, yes, we did. And um, it, it's a parody, kind of like something similar to Lazy Sunday by Lonely Island. Okay, I like the sound of that. Sounds ambitious. <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of weird because it's too like young white girls rapping. Yes. So. All right. <laughs> well, I'm psyched to see it. Should we go ahead and play it? Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and see Woo! Ruby and Alyssa's video.
Wake up late for school. Don't want to go. I was up all night watching Chris Gethard show. Come on, friend Alyssa. Alyssa, to go. We gotta ask your parents if we can go. It's Chris's birthday. He's getting old. I know my homie. He's getting old. We're only 12, but we love the show. We are babies. We're still in school. He's three times our age. That's not cool. Chris is awesome. He runs a crazy show, but it's his birthday. We can't say no. Don't you know his last name spells get hard? What? It's Ruby and Melissa. Um, we just wanted to thank you for being an awesome person and an awesome friend. And you run an awesome show, and we wanted to wish you a happy, happy birthday. Uh, yeah, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday, and uh, thank you for letting us be a part of this awesome show. Awesome! Yeah! <laughs> that video who made that video with you guys um where did Alyssa go I don't know did Alyssa run away <laughs> hiding oh. Alyssa why you look tough as hell on those steps <laughs> you looked really badass didn't she she was like <laughs> why'd you run away <laughs> Alyssa you <laughs> ran away <laughs> why'd you run away I got nervous <laughs> <laughs> you can't be nervous about me I'm like you're um I like I do nice things. I like do nice things for you. <laughs> this, this, this is, is that uncomfortable? It's true. It's true. But no, but you can't be no. <laughs> but my point is, this is not a show for this is for people to feel good, not get nervous. Feel good. You should feel proud of that. That was funny. Yeah. Um, I edited it. You did. Nice. Yeah. And then me and Alyssa shot. Um, I shot her, and then oh, she shot me. All right. Well, good job. You just confessed to a murder. <laughs> <laughs> a murder-suicide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. That's super nice of you. In the meantime, if, uh, I'm going to grab that mic from you guys. Thank you so much. Let's check in. Random Dan, how's it coming along? Yeah, good. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Random Dan, it's for real. Yeah. Can we close up on that at all or no? Is it too far away? If you can. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. It looks just like you, Banana Man. <laughs> How do you feel about this? How do I feel about How does this? He feel about I it? think he's uncomfortable with it. Yeah, wildly uncomfortable. My toes keep curling every time I think about it. Yeah, yeah. It's not cool. It's not cool. Let's get back to the phones. We need some Bonnaroo Gethard calls. I think we got one. Nick from Aurora, Colorado. Welcome to the show. Hey, Chris. Nick, I'm, a, I'm scared I'm going to die in your state. What? What's that? What? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Oh, I said I, I'm a little scared that I'm going to die in your state. There's not many people willing to help me in Colorado. Oh, yeah. I, I, I emailed you, Elite. Awesome. So, yeah, we'll come visit you. Awesome. How far are you willing to drive if I enter the state of Colorado? It's a big state, right? Um, how far? How far am I willing to drive? Um, uh, God. I can only fit like, what, five, six people in my car? No, no, no. It's just, you just need to what? worry about me. The other guys have a car. Banana Man's going to be rolling in style. We rented him a minivan. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> it's just me, Nick. I have All to right. Nick, you also Please. sound somewhat unenthusiastic about helping me. Oh, uh, that's, yeah. I'm just saying that. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Well, no, it's just that, um... Yeah, it's just like, I'm only 19 right now. Okay. And my car isn't that really good. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Nick, I'm going yeah, to I'm gonna take you up on your help, but just based on this phone call, I'm not going to really rely on you. <laughs> <laughs> this connection's really bad that I got right now. Nick, do you have AAA? I literally can't hear anyone right now. Are you an AA? <laughs> Hello? 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 Well, um, I'm swearing my speech, I'm like, what? Okay, well, Nick, this phone call has been as awkward as our face-to-face -face meeting will be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you for the call. 
Oh. Finally get a guy in Colorado, and that's what we got. We got, oh, who, okay. Rob Malone, the world's greatest dancer, handing out forks. Welcome, Rob. You guys already had cake. You got to get the rest of the audience. Everybody had cake, yeah. What's up, Rob? Yeah, well, pass me, and, uh, me and, and Banana Man here, we actually uh, have a birthday present. A bir oh, thanks, yeah. guys. Okay, that's You're nice. A friend of ours. Yes. Yes. We love you. Does this we work? I love you guys, we too. Have, we have 30 seconds to do this. Thing. Only 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds. <laughs> Starting, it might have already started. I think it started the minute I started walking out here. <laughs> so we're almost done with the 30 we're seconds. Almost Is this okay? Is this good framing? Do we start? <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, um, should time? I give him the first gift? Yeah, you give him the first gift. Okay. Well, oh. That just, we got a gift for you, Chris. We got you <laughs> at least one gift. This has been over 30 how about, seconds. How about as I pull it out of the bag, you explain what it is? Sure. Okay. Yeah. But you'll have to hand it over to me from over here. Okay. Because of the mic. Oh! So this is an axe. I don't need that. No. I don't need that I, whoa. At all. Whoa, Are you whoa, rejecting whoa. our gift? I don't. Yeah. <laughs> this is from the spirit of Gether. Oh, it's a relic. It's a, is it's that a, the same axe? That's the axe we killed a tree with. Here, why don't you hold it? Oh. Hold that. That's for you, you ingrate. <laughs> That's for you to take to California, because maybe you'll need to defend yourself. You want me to fight people with an axe? <laughs> well, if you on have the road, to. During Bonner Together, you want to see me, you want to edit, you guys are going to be on the road helping to edit all this. Yeah. Yeah, you want to edit footage of me in an axe fight. Yeah, sounds like a viral video. <laughs> <laughs> sounds awesome. Okay, well, thank you guys. But then we were thinking, I don't know if the rules actually allow you to have the axe. Right, the TSA might take that and away we didn't want to give you a gift that wasn't useful. So, we, here, can you? Yeah, we made a, and we need a the card. camera. Can we get the camera on this card? Yeah, we gotta get yeah, and we'll be done. We only have 30 seconds. This, this is already been about 120 seconds. Here's my wrap this up. So this card, show the camera. Chris can show see it later. Show the camera. Don't let him. Chris see it. Uh, so, so that's, it says, happy birthday, here, Chris. Love, Rob and Keith. Chris, Chris. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's our hair. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> the, the card, you'll see that's, well, that we took pictures of us cutting off all of our hair, our back, our pubes, our beard, eyebrows, <laughs> eyebrows <laughs> knuckles. I have very hairy knuckles. Yeah. Uh, so that's for you because we, we noticed you're not very hairy. You're not very hairy, and hair is a sign of strength. Like Samson from the like Bible. Like Samson. <laughs> so you're going to need that. So you're going to need that. Okay. Well, Happy birthday, Chris. Happy birthday. Hey, thank you guys so much. Yeah, thank okay. you so much. Yeah. I'll cherish the hair forever. Monique from Billaham, Washington. You're on the air. Welcome. Hi. How's it going? Good. I wanted to say happy birthday. Thank you. Um, and I'd love to help you out on your uh, journey, but I'm a little too north for that. Oh, yeah, because Bellingham's way up there, right? It is, yeah, right by Canada. I've been up to Bellingham a number of times. Oh, I've well, I've missed you then, but I hope you visit more. I gotta say, it's an odd little town, Monique. Yeah, I quite like it. Yeah, it's an enjoyable place. Well, if disaster strikes and I somehow wind up heading straight north from California all the way to the Canadian border, you'll be the first person I'm in touch with. Oh, sweet, man. I mean, I don't want to wish disaster upon you, but, yeah. you know, that's what it takes. Okay. <laughs> okay, Monique. <laughs> Just, I mean, you know, be safe, though. But, uh, hey, can I ask the human fish what's on his mind? Always. You can always ask the human fish what's on his mind. Monique from Bellingham, Washington. What's up? Monique, what do you want to know? Dave oh, asking, I just wanted to know what's on his mind. Oh, you just want to know what's on his mind. Okay. Yeah. Birthday boy versus boy, oh, boy, it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Who wins? Boy, oh boy, it's your birthday. All right. And now, Shannon, you mysteriously just referred to the human fish as Dave. I'm not the first to do that. Really? I don't You've know what. I've done that? That's the only reason I said it, because I heard you say that name. I've never even heard of that in my life. You have said it As on far the show. as I know, his name is the human fish, he and that's all it is. He said that name to you on the show once before, am I right? He did. I don't think that's true. He did. All right, Episode, Rachel, we have we'll someone. Find it. Okay. Uh, 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 Somebody say vacation. Vacation. Somebody say Jason. Jason. What's my name? Vacation, Jason. That's right. I don't got a lot of time tonight, but I got a lot to say. Chris Gethard, what can we say about this birthday boy? He doesn't make a great human crane, but he does make an excellent friend to many young girls. Chris. 
I don't know if you remember this, but the last time you took a cross-country vacation, <laughs> you blasted Vacation Jason into Comedy Superstar. <laughs> don't start with me. Don't start with me. Do you want this to be your birthday or your death day? Surprise assassination. <laughs> That's, that's part of your birthday gift, man. Go ahead, give that to him. It's for him. Well, Chris, I know you're going on a vacation, and quite frankly, I think it's the dumbest vacation I ever heard of. You're not going to an island. You're not even going to a peninsula. <laughs> you're walking straight through the desert, man. <laughs> so I put together a little care package okay. for your birthday and for your vacation to make sure you get there safely. Okay, First thanks. and foremost, I gave you a pistol. I sand it off the serial number. You can have a couple bodies on it. You could bury it in the sand. You'll be fine. You also spray painted over its original bright orange color. Yeah, yeah, it's a hunting gun. Yeah, yeah. Up next, hey, everybody knows when you walk through the desert, what's the number one danger in the desert? Dehydration. If you're already thirsty, it's too late. You're dehydrated, you're gonna die. So Chris Gether, I got you something very special from this Pacific Ocean. I got you a jar of seawater. There you go. You can drink that. Why is it literally hot? Why is it boiling hot? Because the sun shines oh, on the yeah. ocean, idiot. I don't want that. Oh, boy. You can drink that, you can think of me. And then, <laughs> and then, you know, last time there was a little fake out that you were going on a vacation. You ended up, when you got fired and you got rehired, you ended up not going on a vacation. I gave you some reading material. What? My book. You don't remember this? Oh, in the dog cage? Yeah, I, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I got some new reading material for you because you already read my book. I appreciate that. I got something new. It's a copy of Vacation Jason's Island Flavors, the one-man show <laughs> coming soon to a comedy theater that is awesome. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. How did you hit me in the nuts with that? How did you hit me in the nuts? Jason, you gotta go, man. Vacation Jason, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get Vacation Jason. Always. I actually need this. One of the worst people I've ever met. One of the worst people I've ever met. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get back up on our feet. And let's dance and welcome back to the stage. They rocked it before, they will rock it again. Shell Shell! <laughs> Thank you.
Greg. Amazing. By far the best part of this week's episode, right? Defying gravity awesome. right now. Defying gravity. That, would, that should not happen. You can only do that with fucking confidence. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Way better than oh, that. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Phil Jackson, welcome back to the show. The show's resident poet. Great to see you. Chris, it's great to see you. Happy birthday. Thank you, Phil. Um, can I get a lose well? Lose well. Lose well. Lose well. Lose well. I, I know that you're a, a soda enthusiast. Oh, yeah. And I was yeah. having lunch today at a gourmet deli. This green bottle just hit my eyes, said he needs to have this. He needs to have it. <laughs> so happy birthday. That's a Jelly Belly green apple soda. Thanks, um, Phil. And Thanks, I wrote, Phil. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was no, the No, I got more. <laughs> and I wrote you a birthday poem. Is it all right if I share it with y'all? <laughs> Birthday wishes and birthday kisses and birthday brunches and birthday lunches and birthday dinners and birthday gossip. Those are birthday dishes and birthday punches. They hurt so vicious. And birthday texts from your ex name Alexis that you met because she thought you owned that Lexus you were standing next to, but you were just trying to take a piss next to that Lex coop. But she showed up before your penis was exposed. Phew. <laughs> And now these birthday sex texts from your ex Alexis turns into drinks of words slurred and blurred and now you're having birthday sex on a bow flex. How does that even work? <laughs> and after your good old fashioned birthday pork and you leave your place and go to your mom's and stuff your face with homemade cake, that's good old fashioned birthday knife and forking. Then you pop a bottle of Pinot Grigio and climb atop a hot tin roof in a Tennessee state of mind, alone saying cheers with your friend Williams as the summer breeze it moves and flows across your body. Tank top and sandals so you feel it on your chest and your toes tip as you tiptoe, drinking to the good life that's some good old fashioned bottle and corking. Then you watch West Wing with your wingman before heading out for the night. That's some good old fashioned Aaron Sorkin. <laughs> So on this day, we say happy birthday because many moons ago, you came out of the womb slow. Eww. Inaudible sounds of a child turn into the notes of an elementary school choir, turn into a hormonal high school boy. Imagination, wild, prepping to lose his virginity, driving miles to buy condoms. He gets to the counter and keeps his hand steady, even though his palms are sweaty, only to hear the store clerk say, he ain't ready. <laughs> So here's to life and love and love loss and lost love and school dances and poop pants and success in movies and books and weird ass shows with some weird ass moments and some weird ass poems. To the president of the, to the president of the Loosewell Dynasty, happy birthday. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, sir. A pleasure as always, as always. <laughs> Phil is out. He has left the studio, as is his way, he is gone. Uh -oh. Random Andrew! Yes. Oh, I gotta be quick, just to Oh, my God. Yeah, I gotta do this Yeah, we, I want, to. we don't get time for Yo, more calls, huh? Yeah, I, I'm just gonna rush this. No, not on you, not on you. Well, that's fine, but I'm still gonna do that, because I was asked to. This is a gift. <laughs> it's the 2006 film edition of Poseidon. I found it, it was new, and it's got um, a holographic cover on it. Thank See, you, Random Andrew. At first the wave isn't on it, and then the wave's on it, and that's the movie. <laughs> I've never seen this. Oh, it's really good. Is it good? Yeah, Kurt Russell dies, but I just... Come on! Come on! Random Andrew! Yeah, yeah. But it's Kurt Russell, the actor, literally dies. Yeah, yeah, the character makes it. All right, I'm gonna go. Have a great birthday, the man. The character makes it. Random Andrew, I miss you, I love you. Great to see you. Great to see you. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? Shy Rachel's on the phone. Shy Rachel, how are you? Hi, Chris. Shy Rachel, you live in Texas, right? I do live in Texas. I'm in Texas right now. Can I come stay with you during Bonnaroo Gethard? Did you say, can you come stay with me? Yeah. Yes, you can. All right. Have you For emailed sure. helpgethard at gmail.com? Well, actually, I should probably ask my parents first. That's me just offering up my home without checking. <laughs> I, I don't know if they want a 32-year-old man that I know from New York to just live with me for a little bit. That's a fair and reasonable instinct. <laughs> Better yeah. than the guy, did I tell you, but there was a guy honest, in Denver who said... I don't think I really said, tell them much about like, what's going on in New York, so it's just like, oh, hey, there's this guy that I know that like this comedy, so, yeah. That's fair. There's a guy in Denver who said he, I could stay with him, but I have to watch his two kids. <laughs> You gotta do that. I gotta do that. They're eight and ten. 
I, I think that guy is not going to come back. He's not going to come back. Well, well, he's he's then I'll bring those two kids straight to Bonnaroo. <laughs> Uh, happy birthday, Chris. This is a super depressing comic book. Made me think of you. Thanks, Will. <laughs> Will, great to see you, man. Will Hines. All right, Nick from Albany. Welcome back. Nick from Albany, are you there? Hey, yeah, this is Nick from Albany. What's up, Nick from Albany? Hey, uh, not much. Uh, just want to let you know, I'm from Albany, but I live in South Georgia now. You live and, in South uh, Georgia? I don't Georgia? know if you're probably going to... Take it way out of your way to go to South Georgia, but if you're in my area, help get there all day long. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so if, what fun stuff can we do when I get to South Georgia? Uh, really not much. South Georgia is probably the asshole of America. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, that's uh, fair. But if you need a place to crash, you can crash at my place. I'll be in uh, cleaning like, my toilet and shit. <laughs> all right, man. That sounds great. Well, thank you so much. I'll see you if I make it to Georgia. Cool? All right, awesome, Chris. Have All birthday. right, I'm going to go ahead and say hi to Luke from North Dakota as we check in on banana, on a Random Dan's Banana Man. It looks like, are you done? I'm done. I'll put the little You're done, okay. Down. There's blood coming through that blood paper towel. Blood coming through that paper towel, but are you guys ready to see an actual <laughs> Banana Man tattoo? <laughs> Random Dan, how are you feeling? I feel great. You feel great about this? No regrets? No regrets. Okay, Sharky, oh, no, how do you feel about your experience? She's spelled random wrong. She's spelled random wrong. I don't know why I just Everything did this Everything looks to him. great. He's like my favorite person. I don't know why I just did this to him. You, you feel bad. You feel bad that you did this. Sort of. Wow. <laughs> now, Banana Man, uh, she feels bad that she participated in this tattoo. I would think rare for a tattoo artist to say. Yeah, I would agree with that. How are you feeling? How are you feeling looking at that? Your own image. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool, <laughs> but I don't have to look at it all the time. <laughs> but that's a good. It looks, it looks just like you. It does look. <laughs> I don't know if we can get like a back and forth. And we should give props. Oh, that was drawn by our friend Cliff Henning. Cliff Henning. <laughs> Cliff Henning. Yeah. 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 All right. I feel very weird about that. But thank you for doing it, Random Dan, and thank you for coming all the way out here to, to make that happen. That's very kind of you. How much time are we looking at, Noah? Three minutes. Let's check the map. Over. Three minutes, yes. Let's bring the map up. Intern Emma. Oh, my God! We haven't heard from this guy in months. Walter! Walter is calling in. Walter's our only fan. <laughs> Walter is calling Walter. I'm amazed you guys remembered the song. Uh, yeah, me too. I'm, I'm really amazed. He's, he's awesome. Happy birthday, man. Hey, Walter, you're our only fan. You're our first fan. You're the only person who liked this show for like two months. I No, I, I'm, I'm an asshole. I haven't called back. I, I, I've been trying calling and I never got through and I always got through at the last minute and then I, they hang up on me because there's no more time. That so sucks. I was just like, but oh, you're my never God. an asshole. I meet you guys, and I wish you a very happy birthday. I'm in Florida, so I don't know if you're gonna come around here in your Bonaro um, if, journey. If I make it to Florida, I hope I don't, because it will, it will. I mean, if I will have overshot Tennessee and travel far south. But if I do, I'm hanging out with you, Walter, and you're not an asshole. Hey, Walter, here's a little uh, hint on how to get through. Just say you're Gethard's mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to talk to her and ask her what, what, what does she do? Yeah, I'll put you in touch with my mom if you want. I'm happy to do that. Listen, I send you a tweet bit because I, I mean, I'm not there, but I, I, I baked a cake for you, so I hope you, you can see it. That's really nice. Now, Walter, I want to say something because our show, I feel like we've been doing good lately and so many people have come out and we love you guys, but Walter, you were literally the only person who liked this show for a long time and we never forgot you and I hope you call more often because we really do miss you. I will, man. I will. I, I also miss you a lot, and I'm going to keep trying, and I, I guess I'm going to start calling from 10, eight, from, from 10. How are you doing down there in Florida? What's new? Good, good. Started working and just waiting for some sun to come because it's a lot of rainy days, and that's just awful. Okay, man. Well, and I hope... That's all right. Just wishing that I can go back to New York soon. All right. Well, when you get up here, you come hang out. We miss of you. Start yeah. A Kickstarter will get you here. Yeah. <laughs> Start. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Yeah. Yeah. If there's one thing the world doesn't have enough of, it's Kickstarter. Kickstarters. <laughs> yeah. Kickstarters. Emma, how's the map looking? Looking good. Okay. So I'm gonna have to get through that west, that desert region. We 
It looks like once I get, yeah, once I get to East Texas, I'm pretty confident that I can make it from here. But from New Mexico and Colorado, look at this big swath of open land. We need help. We do need help. This is not going to end well if I don't get more emails, and I've he tried might, so hard. He might die of dehydration. Look at this. New York is represented well. LA is represented well. The Bonnaroo area is represented well. Thanks to all the people in Bonnaroo who want to help me get to Bonnaroo. <laughs> Chicago, you have represented. Texas, you have represented in your eastern half. Middle of the country. Please, I do not want to die in Kansas. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't want to die in Kansas. I really don't. Happy birthday, Chris. Everybody Thanks, Allie. get up and dance. Oh, no. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for coming to the show and watching the show. I'll see you out there on the road.